I think I'm live. <laughs> Hi there and welcome to this day in history for June 9th. June 9th is the 160th day of the year in the Gregorian calendar. 161st in leap years with 205 days remaining to the end of the year. You might notice I need to turn. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> we don't need to do that today. <laughs> right. You might notice that we're live this morning. I got a rather urgent call Wednesday night and spent a good bit of yesterday on the road driving from Fort Worth up to central Oklahoma to see about my dad. He's quite elderly fading fast, and we're really just trying to keep him as comfortable as possible until he closes his eyes for the last time. All that to say that I didn't have time to pull a proper episode together for the way that I like to do with graphics, pictures, and music, but I was uh, able to get word graphics together and I can switch those between subjects, and so we will have an episode today. Lean on in and I'll tell you a few things. <laughs> Today's word was suggested by one of my viewers and what an interesting word it is. It's xylophilus. Xylophilus. Oh, let's, let's pull that word up there. Let's get that word where you can see it. Today's word is xylophilus. As a word, it's an adjective that means attracted to wood or growing or living in wood, or in or on wood, such as a xylophilus fungi or a xylophilus beetle. I believe there's also a xylophilus bacteria or bacterium. Uh, xylophilus might be a challenging word to work into conversation, <laughs> but isn't it an interesting word? Xylophilus comes to us from Greek. I was unable to find a first known use date for the word xylophilus. Hi folks, I see you in the chat there. Thank you for coming. And um, remember, if you have a word that you'd like me to talk about, to explore in the word of the day section, pop it in the comments. And if I can find it in the dictionary, and it's not nasty, <laughs> I'll talk about it. And with that, on June 9th, 1860, Edward Leon Scott de Martinville made the oldest known recording of an audible human voice on a machine that he had created that he called a phonoautograph, his phonoautograph machine. And that was back in 1860. On June 9th, 1682, I didn't get these, I didn't get these rearranged chronologically. Oh well, <laughs> it's a mixy day. <laughs> uh, on June 9th, 1682, French explorer Robert Cavalier de La Salle discovered the mouth of the Mississippi River and claimed it for France. <laughs> naming it Louisiana in honor of King Louis XIV. Don't know if you know this or not, but he started his exploration of Mississippi River up at the Illinois River, made his way all the way down to the Gulf. Also, Joliet and Marquette, which we've mentioned before, they did precede La Salle in their explorations of the upper Mississippi, some 11 and 12 years earlier, but La Salle extended his exploration and French claims all the way to the Gulf of Mexico. And it seems really short, but that's all the history I have for you today. So we're going to roll on into the song of the day. I will include a link. There should already be a link in the description of a previous episode, I think, from last year for May 9th, in case you'd like to see what I talked about then. But today's song, oh my goodness, 
Today's song is Hold On by Wilson Phillips. China Phillips came up with this while she was battling substance abuse and a bad relationship. Those two often go together, don't they? <laughs> bad uh, relationships and substance abuse. But she was uh, working on that and um, I got, I really got that feeling as I was researching this song, listening to it on uh, YouTube. You know, I pull these up and listen to them before I go research them. And, and I got that feeling too. Uh, it's interesting to me that uh, often, sometimes in, in the birth of a song, someone associated with that song, whether it's uh, the writer or the singer or someone involved in production, a lot of times somebody maybe doesn't like that song or something about it, <laughs> and that happened with this song too. Um, she played it for one guy and he said to her, that's not going to go anywhere, it's not a very good song, it's really corny. <laughs> I'm glad she didn't let him sway her, I'm glad she didn't listen to that. Um, fortunately, her, her group mates, the other singers, and her producer all loved it. And I think they did a great job with it. Hold On hit number one on June 9th, 1990. And even though it was in the number one spot for only a week, it was number one for the whole year. Um, this has only happened one other time with a song called Stranger on the Shore by Mr. Acker Bilk. And we talked about that song on May 26th. But today it's Hold On by Wilson Phillips, number one on May 9th, 1990. Link in the description. I'm fixing a drip here. Oh, mercy. And I, I forgot to change my titles. <laughs> here's, here's some of the other titles that I, I really did have. <laughs> I forgot to change. Oh, well, that's the nature of live performance sometimes when you're doing your own production. Okay, I'm getting a little leaky here. Oh, you guys, you guys, thank you so much. So that's all I have for you today. Go have a beautiful day, and thank you so much for viewing my little homespun videos. <laughs> Oh, hopefully since I'm landed somewhere, you can see I'm in, a, I'm in a room with a kitchenette here. It's got a full-size refrigerator. The last place I stayed had a little bitty refrigerator that wasn't big enough for them. Sometimes we like to get a, a, like a veggie tray. We call them party trays because that's what they're big enough to have a party with. And it was too big to fit in that little refrigerator. But this this... This refrigerator is plenty big enough to hold a party tray. <laughs> right now I just have bottled water in it. Alrighty, thanks again. You guys have a wonderful day. Now I'm going to look for the thank you very much button. Y'all are the best. See you tomorrow. <laughs>